back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. Today we're continuing on the Let's Play. This is episode 27. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Volkswagen Scirocco GT Spec Series. For that, we need a Volkswagen Scirocco. Uh, and we have one. It's green. Does this have a body kit? Oh, Jesus Christ, it does. Oh, God. That is... Go oh, you can also put the... Is it hideous? Yeah. That's interesting. You can put the stuff to modify this into a Scirocco R, even though they added the Scirocco R in with DLC later? Oh dear. Strange. Anyways, Volkswagen Scirocco GT Spec Series. This Spec Series hosts the Volkswagen's front-wheel drive turbo hatchback and the Scirocco GT. It's Hockenheim Short again. For this tiny little Volkswagen. <laughs> what? I'm looking, back, the, I'm, I'm looking back at the DMs and I found the one where, where it's like, "What Audi is that?" Where I asked, and I want, and I almost, I almost bought the fucking RS4. <laughs> oh yeah, Emil, remember that? You know that? You know? Do you remember the James May Scirocco song? Oh yay! Yay? Huh? My order of Walk the Sky is being processed. Walk the Sky? I bought it, finally. What is it? <laughs> it's a CD. Okay. From the band, like... I think it's probably the only band me and Scotian have in common. Alter Bridge. Because we both like a bit of Alter Bridge. <laughs> Fun fact! <laughs> This car is not an automatic, yet the driver does not use the gear shift animation, but on the Q7 it used the gear shift animation when that was quite clearly an automatic. Unless this is the automatic Scirocco. No, it isn't. That would be a 7 speed if it was. Also, fun little fact about this Scirocco in this game. It says 2 litre TSI on the back. I was almost convinced the first LP I did of these, this that they'd accidentally put the diesel Scirocco in. <laughs> but unfortunately it's the petrol one. Scirocco. Go take you down to Morocco. A 55 MP diesel. <laughs> from oh, Warsaw to Poland, not one tank. Oh sorry, from Berlin to Warsaw. That was great. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> That was like the say. ultimate best ad that ever made. <laughs> that was the greatest ad ever. So Warsaw, remind me to burn into Warsaw in one tank. So remind me to call this episode from Berlin to Warsaw. <laughs> it, hello, yeah, from Berlin to Warsaw, and then just put into a put in a description in one tank. In one tank, yes. yeah. Do do do. Take the corner. It, okay, right, I have a review of the Volkswagen Scirocco GT. 2 litre TSI. And, Scotian, you're not going to believe this review, mate. Oh. The Scirocco GT is better handling than an Audi Q7 V12 diesel. That's astonishing. What, what are you talking about, the Audi Q7? Listen, it's not a bad car, diesel however, is a handling machine. the Scirocco has this amazing feature where you turn the wheel and the car will proceed to go in that direction. <laughs> it's... Wow, so far Brexit thought... Party you know, third in votes. I, nice. I thought the the uh, advanced handling procedures is to uh, just turn the wheel and the car goes straight and rolls. <laughs> I think the Q7 actually was quite firm. I don't know if because that one was upgraded by Forza, so I don't know if they did anything to the suspension to bulk it up. But um, how are you kid getting votes? Up. Who's getting votes? You kid. They somehow have. Uh, I mean, they 2010 they bought like a decent majority of people. I mean, how? I mean, how did Sam Osborne get a point in BTCC? Well, yeah. There's never know. Well, I mean, the UKIP thing was always weird because they only got one seat, yet 25% of people voted for them, so it's kind of a weird situation. They've just sort of been trying to recoup that and remain relevant ever since. Although, apart from this time, because I genuinely didn't realise they were still a thing. 
also, I mean, I am genuinely, genuinely sad that MG is going to MG is shit now. Yeah, MG is not going to be in BTCC. Wait, is MG being in BTCC or not? No, no not they're, getting repla they're uh, Accelerate's oh, wow. replacing them with uh, Hyundai's. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck. Watch some, like, what random privateer that? come in and buy the MGs. <laughs> And then, there was actually, no, no Scotian. The, the fabulous said team. Scotian, I've got a better prediction to make. What? 2023, they'll show up and be good like the Infinity was. <laughs> well, isn't fucking Sutton going into an Infinity now? Yeah, that's going to end badly. Because Subaru's pulling out, so. No. So, I don't know what's happened to that team. I'm assuming that guy, that guy's gonna find a new sponsor, considering he's like that. He's that one guy in BTCC who like always had like a new manufacturer every year, and it was amazing that like, he actually kept Supers around as long as he did. Yeah. Because he was the guy that bought in MG, and I think he was that the bald guy. Yeah, he bought in MG Volkswagen. Um, Again, Michael Bordley. That, no, Bordley's the fucking. The one where every time the commentators go to him, they go, He's a super stock car world champion! It's like, yeah, but that's not a BTCC car. It's a... a, a, a different... The question, the question is now, is a wheel gonna fall off Matt Neal's car? I mean, that it doesn't, doesn't happen very often. often. <laughs> so... Who knows? I'm looking forward to it. Although if Hyundai start dominating, I'm probably going to be very angry. <laughs> I, I'm looking for, forward to the uh, insightful com commentary. Yeah, because it'll be the same commentary team, even though like <laughs> they need replacing because they're awful. No, they're great. <laughs> no, they're, they're not. Awful. They're a bit. Well, they're <laughs> oh, a bit abysmal. Um, they're great because they're awful. Now report, BBC are now reporting Count Binface. <laughs> What? Yes! Wait, Bimface won a he, seat? He has... No, he, he he has arrived at the count. Oh, nice. <laughs> if he wins a seat, I'd be... I'd actually be Elmo should win a seat. He was discriminated <laughs> what against. What about... What about... What about... What about Mr. Fishfinger? I don't know what that is, and I don't want to know what that is. It's a man dressed as a fish finger. Why is a man dressed as a fish finger? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> hi Greg, hi James. I've got an idea. What's that James? I'm gonna dress as a fish finger. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it'll be good, we'll get all the votes. What? <laughs> so yes, after driving the Scirocco for as long as I did, I can safely confirm the Volkswagen Scirocco is fine. Not good. Not great. I wouldn't buy one, but... Um, he is... It's... He's facing Boris. <laughs> good old Boris. Yes, no, Scirocco he, is... Hey! He... <laughs> driver level 30, we get a nice little achievable. I don't know, isn't that lovely? Legend of Le Mans. You. And there we go. We get some percentage off of parts. So, let's see what... Being a Le Mans legend gets us. Oh, we've got the options of the 1965 Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe, the 1966 Ford GT40 Mark II, and the 1967 Ferrari 330 P4. As much as everything mm. in my body is telling me to go for the Cobra, written down here I've got the GT40, so I guess the GT40 is the one we're going to go with. So. I have no idea what colour I want my GT40 in. We'll have it in that, I guess. Blue power. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we're going to be taking a look at a car which is not German. It is front wheel drive though. So join us for that. Until then, farewell. You know